How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse. Yes, I know I said I was going to be taking a break and I am taking a break, but something really important to me has come up and I wanted to let you know, and that is access to a low cost entry level 3D printer to my fellow Australians. And as you might have guessed, it's going to become available from Aldi. But I'm on holidays, so before we start, I'm going to have a little bit of a... Uh, a drink. And I'm not going to even going to do any editing on this. By the way, this is Benedictine, uh, developed by the Benedictine monks. Um, actually, no, it was developed by a French industrialist in the 19th century. But it's still really tasty. So, what am I talking about? Aldi is bringing out another 3D printer. But what makes this one so special is it's $299. Now. Previously, there was the Cocoon Create Model Maker, which some of you guys picked up only a couple of months ago, really. And that machine was $2.99, but what makes this new one special is it's been upgraded, and our Aussie dollar's kind of crap at the moment. So if you're looking to buy a 3D printer from overseas, like from Gearbest, then you're not going to get a very good conversion rate, and you're not going to get much support. So, I have all the important details written down here. I'll run through them. I haven't got the machine myself because obviously I'm not in the studio, but I will be testing one out in future. But however, like the previous machines from Aldi, they are only going to be there for one day, and that's going to be the 31st of October. So as I said, it was it's a similar machine to the previous model maker. There's a few small differences, but I'll just run through the machine specs if you haven't seen it before. So it's a steel frame design with a cantilevered arm, so it's only supported on one side, and it has a Bowden style extruder, that is where the motor is mounted on the frame and it pushes the filament through to the hot end. And it's PLA only. It's got a non-heated print platform, which is kind of expected at the price point, and it's quite small at 120 by 135 by 100 millimeters in the Z-axis. However, as I said, $299 for a ready-to-run assembled 3D printer. Can't really complain, but they've done some improvements as well. From what I understand, the firmware and the touchscreen, or rather the, uh, the, the LCD with the uh, control knob, I'm not sure if it's touchscreen, the, the information said it might be, but it's probably just a control knob. Either way, easy to control, and it uses a micro SD card. I'm not a huge fan of micro SD cards for control because it's small and you can break the slot. That was a problem with the previous versions, I understand. So I would recommend getting a micro SD to full size SD adapter. Really cheap upgrade. But the major improvement they've put in is a removable magnetic print surface. So you would have seen my review of the Easy Peelzy, which is a flexible print surface. You just pop the parts off, really satisfying. Now it seems that everyone's picked up this idea and the new machine that is coming out from Cocoon Create has that print surface. So to recap, 120 by 135 by 100 millimeter build volume, non-heated print volume, so PLA only with a Bowden style extruder and that lovely removable print surface. And it will be only available from Aldi stores from the 31st of October. And I think that's all I need to talk about there. So why am I taking the time to do this when I'm on break? Well, guys, it is my aim to empower your creativity through technology. And it's really important to me that I make this kind of information available to anyone who might not be able to afford a high-end 3D printer or maybe not feeling tech savvy enough to get a kit because look, let's be real, kits take a lot of time to get ready. This machine should be printing within an hour or so by the time you get it home and you can just get it up and running. And also, the platform that the Cocoon Create machines have been built on are very well established and you can use any G-code you like from any slicer. They recommend Cura, but you could use Idea Maker or Slicer or Simplify 3D, it's up to you. And the main thing that's really important about this, guys, is it's from Aldi, an Australian store with a 60-day money-back guarantee. So if anything goes wrong with it, you take it back. Unlike other machines you get from overseas where you have to send them back to base or if, you even, if that's even an option, or if it's a kit, you've got no chance of getting warranty, you can just take this back if something goes wrong. So guys, if you've been on the fence about getting a 3D printer and you've been watching my videos and you thought it's something that you'd like to do but you can't really justify the cost, or if you've got a kid and Christmas is coming up and you want to empower their creativity, then I highly recommend checking this machine out. And to put a full disclaimer out there, uh, this is not a paid ad for Cocoon Create. It's, it's purely my interest and my I aim to empower your creativity. And they've been quite reliable in their machines in the past 
and not stuff like this doesn't happen very often in Australia, so I thought I'd take the time to let you know. Anyway, with that done, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Benedictine, and I'll see you guys in about two weeks' time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.